So there you were, just surfing around the internet like you always do. You're a safe, basic Windows user. You don't go to strange websites. You keep your antivirus program updated. You don't do any of those things that all the other bad people do. And then out of the blue, you get a pop-up like this. Access to this computer has been blocked for security reasons. Call Microsoft support toll-free. Your computer has been warned that it is infected with Trojan spyware. So the first thing you're going to do is go into an absolute panic. You try clicking on the window, desperately trying to close it, but that doesn't work. You try powering off your PC, and that doesn't work either. That scary pop-up window from Microsoft is still on your screen. This pop-up appears to have completely taken over your computer and locked you out of your own personal files. And now you're scared to death. At best, you're going to have to spend money with a computer guy to get your computer back up and running. At worst, you just lost all your personal files. So let's talk for a second about what actually just happened and what that scary message on your screen really is. There's only two realistic scenarios where you're going to see a message like this on your screen. The first scenario means you actually got some kind of malware infection on your computer. Now, malware can cause all kinds of problems with your Windows PC, and if you don't have the proper programs installed in the first place, you might have a very difficult time removing that malware. Now, if you have an extremely serious infection, what's commonly called ransomware, as the name implies, your computer and everything on it is held hostage until you pay a ransom. Sometimes you can just pay a fee, usually in Bitcoin or some other cryptocurrency, and if you're lucky, you'll get a key to unlock your files. Other times you pay that money to get the key to unlock your files, and either you just threw away perfectly good money, or at worst, by paying that ransom, you might have given a bad actor out there access to your online banking. Either way, it's not a good result. The second scenario is much more common, and it's one I see almost daily in my local business. It's called Scareware, and it actually works better than you might think. Now, as shown in the pop-up, there is almost always a number to call Microsoft for tech support. But trust me when I tell you with 1,000% certainty, it is not from Microsoft. How do I know? Because Microsoft doesn't call you. They don't email you. They don't force any kind of warning messages on your machine and never send you anything unsolicited. And Microsoft has publicly acknowledged this on their website. This is what Microsoft has to say. Microsoft will never proactively reach out to you to provide unsolicited PC or technical support. If you receive a phone call claiming to be from Microsoft or see a pop-up window on your PC with a fake warning message and a phone number to call and get your issue fixed, it's better to be safe and not click any links or provide any personal information. Never call the real number provided in the error message. Real Microsoft error messages never include a phone number to call. Okay, great. So now you know the message isn't from Microsoft, but whoever it is, you still can't make that message go away. So what do you do? First of all, if you're a novice computer user, you probably made this one simple mistake, very common, and I'm about to show you. When you press the power button on your PC, you thought you were turning your PC off. I mean, isn't that what a power button is supposed to do? Well, not always with computers. Pressing that power button one time will actually make your screen go blank and give you the impression that the PC is turned off, but it isn't. What you did is actually put the machine into what's known as sleep mode. Sleep mode is basically just a low power setting in Windows to allow you to shut down the resources, but to quickly get back to what you were doing with just a press of a button. Your existing windows remain open. Everything's exactly the way it was when you left it. You basically just hit pause on your Windows session. And that is why after pressing that power button, that scary message came right back. It didn't come right back. It never left. Now in some examples of scareware, you can't click anywhere on that window. But what you don't realize is that oftentimes those scary pop-ups are just websites that are running on your computer in full screen mode. There's two very easy ways to get around this if you see that pop-up window. First, just try hitting the escape key on your keyboard. That will take that browser out of full screen mode into something you can actually see and close. The second method is to not just press that power button, but actually press and hold it for 15 to 20 seconds. You'll hear your machine slowly get quieter as the fans and all the other components inside turn off. Once that's done, after 15 to 20 seconds, your computer will actually be off. Now what you do is just turn the computer back on. If you don't see that pop up again, you're good to go. That's all it was, just a pop up and nothing to worry about. Now if you do see that message again after holding down the power button for 15 to 20 seconds, then it is possible that you might actually have a malware infection on your computer. At that point, I would recommend turning the computer completely off and giving it to a PC professional and have them resolve the problem for you. If that message doesn't come back though, count your blessings, go back to what you're doing, and whatever website you clicked on just before this pop-up happened, don't go back there. 
But if you ever do run into this problem again, where you get some kind of crazy pop-up, just try hitting that escape button. If that doesn't work, press and hold that power button until the machine turns off. That's how you can resolve this problem if that's what it was. Now regardless, even if that pop-up doesn't come back, I'd still recommend running a scan with a good malware program like Malwarebytes. It's free and it actually works pretty well. I hope this video was helpful for you. It should certainly save you some money if you ever have this problem again. But if you think you have a malware or virus infection on your computer that your antivirus or malware program can't remove, you should definitely check out this video right here. In that video, I tell you about this amazing, super powerful program that will remove just about any infection off of any Windows PC. It'll get you back up and running with no cost to you. Thanks so much for watching.